Hello guys, I'm Jagat and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, let us build a gaming PC. So let's get started. I make tech and travel videos. In case you are new to my channel or you all have watched my previous videos and have not yet subscribed my channel, please make sure to subscribe it. Let us quickly take a look at the components used for building this gaming PC. CPU case from Chiptronics, Gigabyte motherboard, AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, 8GB RAM from Corsair, 1TB Seagate hard drive, power supply again from Corsair. Now let's start building. Starting off with the power supply, let's just quickly have a look around the box. On the front side, we have got the image and model number mentioned. On the top side, we have got the images of the cable. On the right side, we have got information about the performance. Now let's unbox. Inside, we have got main power cord, manual book, and power supply. Next, moving on to the CPU. On the center, we have Ryzen mentioned. On top right, it is mentioned as processor with Radeon graphics. Then on bottom right, we have Pi mentioned. Then on bottom left, it is mentioned as second gen processor with Radeon graphics. Then on the side, we have the image. On the back side, we have got some key specification. On the side, we can see the chip. On the top, we have got the pricing info. Now let's unbox. Inside, we have got the manual. Then we have the chip. Next, we have got the fan. On the chip, we have got Ryzen and model mentioned. This is AMD Ryzen 5 3400G. It comes with built-in graphic card. It has 4 cores and 8 threads. Next, moving on to motherboard. We have model number mentioned. On the back, we have the specification mentioned. Now moving on to the sides. On the sides, we have the model number mentioned. It is suitable for AMD Ryzen and AMD Athlon. Okay, now let's unbox. Inside, we have the cable, IO port shield, and finally the motherboard. Size of this motherboard is micro ATX. It has AM4 socket. Okay, now let's fix the CPU chip. So for inserting it, we first have to unlock it. Okay, now let's place it. Okay, now it is placed. After placing the CPU chip on the socket, we have to lock it back. Okay, now let's fix the RAM. Okay, let's remove from this box. So as we can see on the center, we have got Vengeance LPX mentioned and below it, it is mentioned as DDR4. Okay, now let's fix it. Again, while fixing the RAM also, we have to unlock this. Okay, now let's insert the RAM. After inserting the RAM, we have to get this fixing sound. So only if we get the sound, the RAM is actually fixed correctly. So that's it, now the RAM is fixed. Now let us fix the CPU fan. First, we have to remove the screws around. Now let's place the fan and tighten the screws.
Next, we have to connect the wire to the motherboard. Next, let's unbox the CPU case. So on the box, we have got the MX1 RGB tower case mentioned. Then we have the image of the CPU and specs mentioned. Over here, we have got the image on how to remove the case from the box. So we have to place the box upside down. And then slowly remove the carton. Now let us take it out from the cover. This cabinet comes with dedicated RGB control button to change the RGB color mode for the front RGB strip. Ok now let's take a closer look at the CPU. Power button, restart button, LED light button, 3.5mm headphone jack, microphone, 2 USB 2.0 ports and 1 USB 3.0 port. Then on the top we have magnetic protective shield. We can remove it, clean it and then insert it back. On the side we have got tempered glass. This cabinet also supports liquid cooling radiator on front, top and rear. Now let us remove the screws. On the bottom, here we have to place the power supply. Then over here we have to place the hard disk. Next over here we have to do the cable management. Then inside we have to insert 4 screws. the IO shield which came along with the motherboard. Let's fix it. Ok now the IO shield is fixed. Now let us attach the motherboard to it. Ok now let's tighten the screws. Now let us fix the power supply. Ok, now the power supply is fixed. Let's tighten it with screws. Now let us connect it with motherboard. Next, let's fix the hard drive. So that's it, now let's power it on.
Now let us take this LED light. Now let us install OS. Okay guys, so that's it. Soon I'll upload the gameplay. So stay tuned for it. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.